Hello the amazing viewers and subscribers and welcome to my Doctor Who action figure collection update video. So Comic Con's now been and gone over the, what an incredible weekend that was. And now I have rearranged all of my Doctor Who figures, adding me new ones in. So let's dive into it, shall we? So of course, as you can see, my new Hartnell figure, well, one of them, because I've got two first Doctor figures. Now this is the original William Hartnell one. I actually compare, I actually prefer this one compared to the b and Ray from 2021. As you can see, we do have the Unearthly Child at the back, TARDIS with the first Doctor wearing the scarf. And I do have two Ian Chesters because I brought myself two Keys and Madness sets as well as two Sensorite sets. So I've got two first Doctors, um, one from the certain, and of course I got a Web Planet variant of the first Doctor, which is this little guy here. And that variant is from the Web, the Web Planet. And then, of course, I got the Voy people from the Keys of Madness. I got the Cyberman. And then, of course, I got three, well, four Sensorites. Two of them I'm using, like, so they are talking to each other telepathically. And the other two are just there pretending to be weapons. And then, of course, we have my Hartnell Dalek. So these are from History of the Daleks set. History of the Daleks set one here, which is the Daleks. This is from set two. This one I've got from a charity shop for 50p a couple of weeks ago. Then, of course, I have the Chase and the Daleks Master Plan. And that is it for William Hartnell. And then, of course, for this section of the shelf, we have my second Doctor. So, as you can see, I've now got two variants of the Cybermen from the Tomb, the Moon Base, and, of course, Tomb of the Sun. This is the original release for Patrick Troughton. I've always been after this one. It's absolutely brilliant to have in the set. As you can see, I've got a normal standard Dalek. I've got the Emperor Dark Guard Dalek at the back. Then at that one with the mutant scoop from the power of the Daleks. This brick here is from the three Doctors, but I've just put them there because of the invasion, Cyberman, and an Ice Warrior. And then, of course, my three, well, my four variants of the second Doctor. So we have him in his fur, with the fur coat variant, which was from the, with the electric TARDIS. So, and then, of course, this one at the back here is from the War Games. This is the original release of the second Doctor. And this is from the 11th Doctors, but I've just put him there because... I kind of have two figures from the from that set because I bought one botch one batch from a charity shop where I paid eight pound eight pound for the first eight doctors because they're being sold for a pound each. So I thought that variant would do very very brilliantly for that one. And then jumping into the third doctor now. So as you can see, we've got two Autons, we've got the Master. One variant of the Brigadier. We've got the Doctor and Joe with the TARDIS from the Time Monster. So it's really good to have another Pertwee variant of the TARDIS. As well, as you can see at the back, we've got the unit soldiers from Claws of Axos. We've got two Emperor, well, sorry, two Day of the Daleks sets. So this is from Day of the Daleks. This is from the Five Doctors, but I just took the jacket off to make it look like it's from Day of the Daleks because of the actual jacket looks so similar to that one. Then, of course, we have the Planet of the Dalek set here. And two Carnival of Monsters, third Doctors, with a hand puppet Jurassic at the back. And that's one part of the John Pertwee section. And then, of course, this little section, it is coming off with the Pertwee and beginning of the Tom Baker era of action figures. So, you can see at the back, I've got a little representing of the three Doctors, which is uh, the first, second and third Doctors with Omega. Nicely done, isn't it? Then, of course, I got this bit here representing season 12. I had two Sarah Jane figures. I uh, got the type, the Monster Peladon Tardis set with the third Doctor. I had two Lynxes and Death to the Dalek set. Then, of course, coming over here for the Tom Baker era now, as you can see, I've got the Regeneration Tom with the Tardis, the K1 robot, the fourth Doctor that came with the K1 robot, and then, of course, the Doctor... Sorry, Harry... And then, of course, we have two variants of General Style. One with the helmet and the gun. Oops, just accidentally knocked that one over. Don't worry about that, I saw that one. And I've took the one with the helmet off, so that way we can see what he looks like. And then, carrying down here with the Tom Baker section, as you can see. Now, this is absolutely brilliant. So, I've got quite a few Genesis of the Daleks. Sorry about that. And you can see, we have Genesis of the Dalek sets now. So, I've kind of done a nice Genesis of the Dalek set with this variant of Tom. Then, at the back, I've Done a nice little Terror of the Zygons variant with the unit people with the Zygon at the back. If you can see, see him there. 
Then, of course, I've got a season 14 with the fourth Doctor of Talents for Winchang and the Decaying Master. Try to represent a nice little season 15 with Tom, Leela and K9. Leela was my new figure for the Tom Baker section. And then, of course, Romana 1 and Romana 2. And then over here, we have season 17 and season 18 representative. So we've got Romana from the Horns of Naimon. A nice little representative for Destiny of the Daleks. And then, of course, Tom season 18. And then we go to season 19. So I've got this one from the 11th Doctor set I brought from Comic-Con last year in April. The Visitation TARDIS set. Then, of course, the Earthshock set with a Cyberman from Earthshock as well, which is absolutely brilliant. And then coming down to this shelf, which is the final shelf of me Classic Who. So at the back, you can see I've got some the Silorians from Warriors of the Deep. I've got a nice little representative of the five Doctors here with the first Doctor, the second Doctor, the third uh, the third Doctor with the fifth and two Aston robots with a Cyberman. Then, of course, we have a Peter Davison figure from The Awakening. And then, of course, the case of Androsani tied is set. And then, of course, my customed... Uh, figure of Colin Baker in Peter Davison's outfit to make a regeneration set then zooming a bit more here to this side so I've kind of done to represent the three the two doctors so we have Colin Baker Patrick Trout with Perry and General Steyer at the back so I had two General Steyer so I thought you know what just make it look brilliant then of course I have a ter terror of the vervoids variant of the sixth doctor as long as real time and then next it is Sylvester McCoy. I don't really have many Sylvester McCoy figures, as you can see, which is a bit disappearing. So I kind of got two Cybermen to represent Silver Nemesis. I've got the Seventh Doctor there. I've got Ace from Remembers the Daleks. I've got the Seventh Doctor from Season 26. And then, of course, the Dalek and Seventh Doctor that came from the Big Finish Wave a couple of years ago. And then just in front of them, I put loads of Paul McGann figures in front of them from the TV movie, as you can see. And then, of course, we have something to represent a little bit of Dark Eyes with the three Dark Eyes figures of the Eighth Doctor I've got. And then, of course, we have two variants of the Knight of the Doctor and then one at the back with, with my custom TARDIS with John Hurt with his Dalek from the B&M set as well. And then coming over here into New Who now. So we've got a nice little Christopher Eccleston display going on. So we've got a representative for Rose, End of the World, The Unquite Dead, Aliens of World War 3 at the back with a Zafine. Then, of course, I've just got a Ninth Doctor with a Science Screwdriver. Rose from the outfit she was wearing at the end of World War 3. So I just kind of put them there with the Space Pig. Then, of course, we have the Dalek, and it does open up and shows the Dalek mutant. If I just show you quickly. So as you can see, you've got the nice little Dalek mutant there to represent Dalek. And then, of course, we have the Unearthed Child set. I haven't really got the on the, the Empty Child, but I'm hoping to get that one soon. So we've got the Ninth Doctor, Co Dr. Constantine, and, of course, Captain Jack. Then a nice little represent for Parting of the Ways with the Dalek with the Claw Hammer, the Hologram Ninth Doctor, and, of course, the Disco Ninth Doctor. At the back to represent Father's Day, we have the Reaper. I would have put that one a bit more forward, but it was blocking the TV, as you can see. And then, of course, at the side of the Ninth Doctor, we have the Tenth Doctor regenerated with two, three cigarettes to represent the Christmas invasion. And then coming down here into the Tenant era now. So we've got a nice figure display for New Earth with Tenant Rose with Nalvis Hain. Then, of course, we have the Werewolf at the back. Krillotains at the at the back where Sarah Jane is, and then of course we've got K9 there. Clockwork Android, then of course we have three Cybermen to represent Age of Steel and Army, um, sorry, the Rise of Summit and Age of Steel two-parter, or Hoikes. Me Genesis of the Dalek set now with the Genesis Arc, as well as the Cult of Scarrow with a Cyberman, with a fantastic 10th Doctor, as you can see here. Then, of course, we have Mickey Smith with the gun at the back. And then, of course, we have the Doctor Martha with Free to Do, including the Jew Captain. To represent Series 2, I kind of had to go down here a little bit. So we've got two to June. We've got the 10th Doctor in a spacer, which I bought from Comic-Con. Then, of course, Toby said and Toby said Possessed. 
and then I've kind of put my broken helmet of the of the Doctor in the space suit, so he looks like he's just come come about and he's just realised he's got air. And then of course we have the Rachnos, and then down here, as you can see, the face of Bow is at the back. We've got Carrier Knights. We've got the human Dalek Sec hybrid with the with the uh, with the pig creatures that the the Daleks experiment with humans on and turn them into pigs. Then of course we go to Scarecrow, a weeping angel with a broken hand, Captain Jack, as well as the two incarnations of the Master, one played by Jared Jacobi and one played by John Sim. And then we have the Howard Saxon and coming down here. We've got Tim the Glasses with Donna. We've got the Dalek at the back. We've got a Santaran. And then, of course, another Santaran. We've got Astrid. And, of course, we have Sarah Jane. Then the 10th Doctor in the B&M set that came out last year. Next to that, we've got Rassilon and then another version of Tim with the sticky hair. My custom-made Doctor from the end of time. Because it's so hard to get... The actual cost, the actual figure from the end of time with the tenth doctor with the spiky hair with the cut. So I had two spare Matt Smith figures as he's just regenerated. As you can see, one has lost a hand, so I am trying to find that so I can glue it. And then, of course, we have the flight control TARDIS, and then the master. Then we go to Matt Smith over here. So to represent a little bit of series five, we have the series five remote control. Well, the flight control TARDIS. Then, of course, we have the newly regenerated 11th Doctor with him wearing his outfit from the end of the flower. Amy Pond in a police uniform. Two Weeping Angels. Then, of course, we have the the alien fish people. Two Daleks. And then, of course, the smile people. And as well as the back, we got my Doctor Who magazines. And then coming over here, we have more of the 11th Doctor. So, as you can see, I've put four Sunmen. We've got the impossible astronaut, then of course the um, the weevil, an, a cyber, um, a stoned auton, the ganga eleventh doctor with another eleventh doctor with a tardis, with Amy and River and a silence, and then of course we have a Silurian, Clara. Then of course over here we've got a nice representative for time of the doctor with the head and the other waistcoat, and then of course. A little day of the doctor a little bit going on with the 10th doctor in his coat with the 11th and war doctor and thinking about talking about changing history and that the war doctor's there not on his own this time then over here we have the 12th doctor era with mr peter capaldi as you can see i have put my first doctor aka david bradley at the back here with his titles to try and represent twice upon a time then of course we have bill the 12th Doctor in his red velvet coat, Missy, Davros, as a few villains, and that's basically it for that one. And then, of course, down here, to kind of represent the Whittaker era, so we have three, two variants of Jodie Whittaker, one from the Flux, and then one before the Flux, basically series 11 and 12, with two holographic weeping angels. Then, of course, with two variants of Ryan, two variant, well, three variants of Yaz and one. Graham with the Rekkerson's Dalek at the back and of course the Jadu. Then over here we've got Captain Jack. I just kind of threw him to represent, you know, Revelation of the Daleks. Then of course we have Jodie in her outfit where she's where the master's basically just regenerated back from the John, where the doctor's just regenerated from the master and getting the life back with her uh, TARDIS. Kind of wanted I had another spare Jodie Whitaker figure, so I just kind of wanted to make a regeneration pose so she's regenerating then of course leading into the fourth doctor going what and that is my doctor who action figure collection from little bits and stubs from the first doctor thanks to the help of comic con and basically helping me finish off some of the doctor's eras like basically the some of the stuff from series two like with mickey and the cult of scaro so i've kind of finished off series two figures i just need to kind of get the wire on the tv screen with the grant and that's basically it so thank you for watching please do like subscribe share and join for more awesome doctor who content and stay absolutely amazing